All right. We are breaking it all down. One of the best segments of the show. We all learned something where we look at key plays from today's game. We start with Olin Krutz. The Bears got a huge fourth down stop late after another one earlier in the game. Take us through the first one. Bears rush for 199 yards. I get the defense on fourth and one. Mm. All right, here we go. Fourth and one. Uh, you know, the <laughs> defense knows that these guys, <laughs> these guys want to run some kind of zone, probably even inside zone. Here you see the old 6 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 1. Anybody who played Pop Warner football knows that from goal line. You run the 6 1 to stop the run play. They're going to run zone, try to give you some kind of crossing action. And, um, the center Bradbury has Jenkins one on one here. He's got to get his head across, at least get a stalemate so the back can get to the, at least the line of scrimmage. You can't get your feet pushed back in the backfield. We'll see from the next clip that Jenkins gets his hands inside. This is block destruction. As I showed you there, that was the line of scrimmage, that yard line. His foot is now a yard and a half in the backfield. Mm -hmm. Jenkins has changed the line of scrimmage on Bradbury. That's a loss for the center. Khalil Mack does a great job. They're trying to now on this inside zone, they're trying to get back to this double team here. Mm -hmm. See that two guys there, shoulder to shoulder, hip to hip, moving that D lineman off the ball. What you got here is Khalil Mack beating the tight end. He's going to blow up this block. He's going to put this guy back here, which means Cook has no chance to get to the double team back there and has to run at Bradbury's block. Bradbury's actually trying to keep this guy front side to get to that backside double team, but Jenkins dominates him. Even if you try to keep that nose guard front side, you still can't be this far in the backfield, and Jenkins gets the tackle, and they stuff that on fourth and one. A hell of a job by the Bears defense. Two big fourth down stops today to win the game. I have a question. Might be a dumb question. Hey, no, there's no dumb there are none. Just dumb people. No, but I would never no, say no, that. No, no, no. They're not. I have a question. If I'm the owner of the Minnesota Vikings, I am walking up to Coach Zimmer or the offensive coordinator, the online coach, going, can I ask a question, please? 52 makes how much money? $142 million. Why in the H are you blocking him with your second tight end? Right, and we, we talked about, right, players not play mm -hmm. sometimes, and even a guy – you know, I raved about Kubiak going into this week, the offensive coordinator for the Vikings. Uh, this wouldn't be the play I picked against the Bears defense uh, when they're showing a 6-1 there. Uh, Brad Berry is a good center in a zone-blocking scheme, mm -hmm. not a real power guy. Mm -hmm. He does his, gets his head across, likes to run guys side to side. So when he gets this, Jenkins has six guys covering his gap. He doesn't have to really run with him, and he just sticks him in the backfield. And you're right about Khalil Mack. If you're going to bring <coughs> Ham all the way from this side to block him off and he's crashing down, well, that's mission impossible. Well, mm -hmm. the, what was happening in the play, great job by Bilal Nichols, showing color here so you can't get Cook bouncing outside. What happened here is Khalil Mack beat his block and then took up this block. What you see in the video, you'll see Urban dancing around. Well, hell, nobody blocked him. Because Khalil Mack took up two blocks and he just had to make a tackle and it forced Cook to try to stay inside and try to just squeeze out a yard, which you couldn't do because K Mack just hey, he had to be on a on some type of stunt inside. So, I mean, it goes all the way back to Pagano. What a good job by him because Khalil Mack's not doing this on his own, you know, so it's a, a great call by Pagano. Mm -hmm. I, I think they did a great job, and then it was a heck of a play. I've been here a lot of times. I'm sure you guys have, too, on plays where you know you're damn well beat on fourth and one, a <laughs> oh, critical yeah. play. Mm. This is the worst feeling as a center when that <laughs> big nose guard, the guys like Jenkins, that's who you see, 340-pound guys, and they get their hands inside on you, and now you just hold mm -hmm. it. You, you know, I use another word. You're holding your, but I'd say you're holding on for dear life. <laughs> yes. <laughs> because yeah, you, just, you are beat here. You yeah. hope right then, yeah. you hope that this guy is good enough that despite my terrible block, <laughs> that he's able to get this first Thank down. Thank God he's got there. When, when the big man does this, he ain't going anywhere, man. He ain't going anywhere. He, said he settled that big foot you in the ground, and you know Bradbury's got that pinch in his mm -hmm. lower back. You know when you got your pinch in your lower oh, back? Yeah. It's over. This is it for a center? Ooh. For your center? Ice. This is it. You can't come out of this pinch. <laughs> 
<laughs> and, you, and you, at this point, you either gonna hear a cra crazy crowd noise, yes. or you're gonna hear a ooh. Yeah. <laughs> and, in, and in this case right here, it's a ooh. Yeah, see, they don't have that problem with the no <laughs> fans. The no fans. Shit, you would have heard, uh, oh man. Oh. And then you would have went to the sideline, like I was to sideline in Chicago, and someone screaming, Cruz, you suck. <laughs> yeah. I was like, on that play, yeah. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> All right, Lance, defense had a coverage mix up on an oh. Adam Thielen touchdown. Mm -hmm. I asked you to explain to me what exactly happened. It was very insightful. We'll see how close though Khalil was to blowing it all up. Yeah. Um, well, there's three things that that really kind of stand out, you know, early on. Number one, <clears throat> you have a new guy out here, killed Kildor. Vindo against, Kendall Vildor. Yeah, Kendall Vildor, and you have a safety number 20 here who's also a, a, a new guy. So the first thing that's going to go out is communication. Now, I'm not saying that, that our, the, this defense communicates extremely well because there are no fans out and you don't hear them talking to each other. But this in a case like this, <clears throat> the first thing you want to do is you want to call out who you have. You want to you want to establish that right away. They're not even playing at levels, and you have receivers that are on the line that are playing at different levels. So you're already in a pick position. So once they start crossing, these two are going to run into each other. But the first thing you have to do is 22 has to establish who he wants or who he has. I have 83. I have 83. Or I have 12. Or I have 19. And for for most of us older guys who would come over, you know, like a Mike Brown or, you know, myself when I got older, I'm on that side. I would tell the young guy, hey, you have 983 or you have 12, just mm -hmm. to remind them right before mm -hmm. the play. Um, so as we go into uh, the next play, because all of this affects basically what you're supposed to be doing. You got to mm -hmm. know what your, your job is anyway. And, <clears throat> and obviously when you do that, and rule of thumb, guys, you know, we don't have two guys that are supposed to be covering that one guy over there. All right, so you know that somebody is supposed to, somebody's running free. As and good as he may be. As good as he may be, <laughs> right? You know right now that somebody messed up, mm -hmm. all right? And that's what happens, and that was what leads to a wide receiver running wide open because it starts with communication. You have new guys that are out there, and since they don't communicate, you have your veterans don't need to communicate with each other because they know their jobs. Mm -hmm. With new guys out there, you have to be, be sure who mm -hmm. has who. So yep. in this th plays like this don't don't happen. And the interesting part is <clears throat> Khalil Mack had a bead on the quarterback. You know, if he had one more second, it was uh, he would have gotten to the quarterback and probably could have shut the play down. If you just cause him to pump the ball one time. Yep. One time. Khalil Mack beats his guy free. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't even think he put a hand on him. And when you can beat your guy free and you still can't get home, there's something there's something wrong happened back in the back end. Mm -hmm. And this is what happened with Adam Thielen's running wide open. Yeah, you're not. You're never going to get home there. Yeah, because if you go the the first pick, the offense is what they call a bunch formation, and that caused communication problems. Mm -hmm. And like um, Lance said, they have to communicate early how they're handling that bunch, mm -hmm. who has the point, who has outside, who has inside, and something happened. Obviously, with two young guys, Duke Shelley and Vildor, they didn't communicate with who has the flat and who has the guy in the back of the end zone. So that's exactly why offenses run bunch formations. Mm -hmm to create communication problems, and the Bears had one. It's interesting because, you know, in, in the time that I played for the Bears, it was, always, it, was, it was always an emphasis on us being loud. You know, we always had to be loud. And three guys that were on stage are not afraid to be loud. You know, <laughs> um, but, you know it, but it was important, and you saw how important it was before the snap of a ball. You know, because one thing our defense, we, have, we ran the cover two. We weren't tricking anybody, you know, but what we did do is we communicated before the ball was snapped. So everybody knew exactly what everybody was supposed to be doing. Whether we were a dummy calling or it was something real, it was loud and it was proud. And I think they need to work on that. So on if that was cover two, who would have the back of the end zone? Who would have the flat? Safety would need to be. Safety would already need to be. Safety would be back here, probably at the five or so or gotcha. whatever, and he would shoot right over. Gotcha. <clears throat> Corner would be there and your, and your linebacker would be cheating over. All right, one more. <clears throat> Alex, Robert Quinn made his presence felt a few times today. Mm -hmm. We finally mm -hmm. s had a good sighting. Mm -hmm. Take us through a couple of what you, things you liked about him today. Well, I, I do believe this right here was a first down play. Uh, first the strip sack. Yeah, yeah. First, I, I, I'm just talking about the down and distance here. You get him outside wide nine. That's where this is the type of guy he is. He's, he is a pass rush first guy, so it's – Long, long situations. Quarterback has to drop back, 
four or five steps, and that's when he's going to make his plays. So if we go ahead, I mean, you got four down linemen rushing. Before they go ahead, I do believe uh-huh. he's offside, but I don't want to say no, 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 no. He's not offside. <laughs> no, 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 no. He's, uh-huh. he's on the line. Look no. at the ball. The, because the center, what you didn't do as a center, Olin, yeah, Olin would get the ball and he'd go here. No, nah, come on. Now oh, I'm yeah. offside. I lined up before. Olin's yes. here. This guy, that ball is sitting right up under him. I'm getting on the ball. <laughs> oh, I'm getting on the ball. Look at it. Oh, that ball is right up under him. Hand movement too. Yeah. Olin would be like, oh, you know, man. Man. oh, that is like, OG. Just like <laughs> OG is like, come on. <laughs> <laughs> that is all size on 57. <laughs> what is all this right here? Come on, baby. Like, so. If this guy moves the ball back, uh, we're taught to line up on the ball. Quinn, perfect, perfect. Move to that next one, because Quinn Mack, look, he look like he outside too. <laughs> so we got four rushing here. Now, what I, I do love, okay, well, we got a double team here. We got one on one. We got to beat one on one. We got to beat one on one. We got to beat. We got to win. Crazy. You got Akeem Hicks one on one. You got K Mac one on one. And you got Quinn one on one, and the guy you're doubling is the free. Is that uh? That Jenkins that's Edwards. That's Edwards. Edwards. Mario Edwards. Edwards, who has made plays, but mm-hmm. we're talking hundreds of millions of dollars that you're leaving one on one. Okay, if that's the way you want to do it, Quinn. I love where he's at here, but right about here, he's already on the edge of the um, tackle, so it's hard for him to come back. I don't like when he gets past the quarterback. And in this and in this particular play, he goes by the quarterback and because of the coverage in the back, he gets an extra two seconds to actually get to the quarterback. And that's where you see the strip fumble right here. Like this is what he does. This is what he does. It's not let's not kill the quarterback. We need the ball. Mm -hmm. That's what it that's what counts. The ball counts. So he knocks the ball out. Unfortunately, I thought we had it. But we don't recover that, right? We didn't recover this one. not. So we need to recover that. We have to. Double team there, Akeem Hicks. Look at it. Look at this. Look. This is what you get when you leave Akeem Hicks one on one with a guy. That's what you get right there. K Mac, I'm gonna need a little bit. I'm gonna need a little bit. But <laughs> so, yeah, like yeah. you go get this, it man. Like, this, you like don't need no money guy. That rookie, they get that rookie. That rookie, that's, that's a bad, that's bad that's a man. Yeah. Oh, you don't that's want that. Yeah. And this right here, cousin still got the ball, and he breathing on you. You ain't worried about him. No. <laughs> you worried about 96 coming Damn. at you, man. And it was a great play by Quinn. It was good to see him show up. But we're going to need more, more of this. We're going to need more from him. But how great is the coverage? It's down great. The field? No, it's really good. And that's what that's what it is. That's what gave him that time. So Cousins was here first. Now, as you can see, his helmet, he's here now. He's he's tracked across the field. Gives him a little more time to get to the quarterback. So when I, I heard <laughs> Jalen Johnson was going to be out, I called the OG. I go, mm-hmm. Okay, we're screwed. Mm-hmm. We're screwed. We got no Jalen Johnson. Mm-hmm. We got no Buster Screen. He goes, hold on a second. If mm-hmm. they can get some pressure, he goes, they can get to this guy. Mm-hmm. It can absolutely help everything out, and that's exactly what you're diagramming. I'm looking here. This guy running this comeback route right at the top. Mm-hmm. He looks open. Why is he holding the ball? Oh, that's that's Kirk Cousins. That Why is, is Kirk he Cousins? not running? <laughs> it is Kirk. Why like, is he not running? <laughs> true, true. He should have ran, but he's not very athletic that's either. Like, uh, that's when he's, he's, that's when the uh, the old quarterback screams at the rookie guard or somebody <laughs> that's saying, yeah. "Block your guy." That's a key mix, bro. <laughs> yeah. Get rid of the ball. Yeah, look at this. <laughs> look at this right here. Look at this right here. Yeah, run it, like, run it. If run that's it. if that's Lamar Jackson, he can hit his head on the goalpost, yes. right? Yeah. But like it's not. So you don't have to you have to rush him the same way. You don't have to call defenses the same way. They can run him down. You know? It's, and they did on this play. But how many times are you as the defensive coordinator mm-hmm. and you showed him that frame before when you had all those one on ones, you have to yep. look at those guys. Listen, we have to be able to lean on you guys right. mm-hmm. in these situations. Yep. I should not have to rush three guys because I don't believe in a four man pass rush. No, you you mean you're you're speaking about the end of the game when we saw the three man pass rush from the Bears? Correct. Right, right. Well, the, whole, yeah, the, the, the whole game, right? The whole, the whole game, game, right? The whole game right back yeah. to the Lions game, yeah. right? Like <clears throat> True. the, the okay. defense is kind of where the offense was for a couple of weeks, they got to start asking themselves questions and the hard mm-hmm. questions. Right. Mm-hmm. Why, why does a team, when a team wants to really run the ball, they run it. Mm-hmm. When it, like the Lions want to pass the ball, you know, I think Stafford threw for 400 yards passing. Mm-hmm. Right. So these guys right here, and they got a lot of good leaders, and they got a lot of good football players, but uh, too many points on the board two out of yeah. the last three weeks. Too yeah. many yards, 
yep. and uh, they got to get together and say, "Look, man, if we if we're gonna if we get to these playoffs and make a run, mm-hmm. we got to really win gonna be on their ones. backs." Yeah. No question. You know what I mean? It's gonna be on these, these guys right here, and it's gonna be Quinn, it's gonna be Mack, and it's gonna be Hicks, Bam. Roquan Smith, and, and Eddie Jackson, and Kyle Fuller. They got to get together, be better. and yep. they got demand from each other. We got to be better. Yeah, mm-hmm. we got to be better. Yep. Than we've been the two out of the last three weeks. Agreed. All right, here is a look at the playoff picture currently with a couple teams still in action. Take a look. So there you have your division leaders. In the hunt, and Washington baby. had every chance to come back and beat Seattle today, mm-hmm. but they did not. But there's Chicago now at 7-7 seven and seven with a Jacksonville game on the road mm-hmm. and then come home and play the Green Bay Packers, mm-hmm. who may not be playing for anything at that point. They may if, not. If we can get this loss right are, here, right? Scared. Yeah, you're right. Come on now. We can get this loss. And looking well, for the that. Cardinals <laughs> also lead 16 to nothing Shoot. already over They're the They're up 16 nothing already? Yes. Oh, yeah. okay. Not good. No, that's not 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 good. For yeah, us. but um, I think they they have the Rams left, right? Mm-hmm. I don't yep. know who they have. Forty um, Niners and Rams. Forty Niners and Rams. Forty Niners aren't looking. Yeah, anyway, mm-hmm. all the Bears <laughs> do is win their games. That's just yeah, just, just, win, just do what you do. Win right. your games. Worry about you, and, and, and mm-hmm. they have to worry about about the defense and getting a room, and they got stuff to improve on. Even the offense, mm-hmm. they can say, look, uh, we'll enjoy this through Monday. And then we got to get better and go out and beat Jackson. Last thing you don't want to do, you don't want to have everything break right for you like we did in 2008. Uh, eight, 2008, yeah. everything broke right, mm-hmm. and we ended up losing to Houston at the end of the season. We were trying to carry them. But they <laughs> it was another, <laughs> that was another, another time. Yeah. Folks, there were some I'm new saying, things going on. I mean, we don't talk about this a lot in Chicago, but <laughs> there were some new things going on that year. We were doing, you know, we had to tweak it. We were a lot better in 09. <laughs> the, the, the thing, though, Cap, is that the, 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 the question always is, well, what is better for the franchise to make? You might as well let that go. They're going to try to make the playoffs. Yes. They're yeah, going to try to win games. The guys in the should. locker room, the coaches who coach these guys, yeah. they're going to try to win these they games. They want to win. So you might yeah. as well let that whole conversation go mm-hmm. and talk about how they can win games because they're trying to get better and they're trying to win football games. And look, what is better? That's a whole other conversation. But those guys don't care about that. Th- right. They don't care about that conversation. Think about, the, think about situations where that the Bears are – in situations that teams were in. Let's say, I think the last two Super Bowls the Giants won, they weren't the best team in the league, but they got hot at the right time, right at the end of the year, and they started to play play good football. I mentioned earlier about Pittsburgh playing good football right at the end of the year, and they go on that run. Green Bay. Like, Green Bay, uh-huh. that year. Like, we don't need to mention that. <laughs> right. Yes. We don't want like, to mention 2010. But, right. like, is but that, we did like go up there. Stuff. Shame, shame. Yeah. We know your name. <laughs> is that stuff right there? If you, if, if you can do that, look for those. Look for those yeah. situations. That, yeah. I mean, if you want to be positive um, about it, because they, they're still in the hunt, man. They're, they're ahead of this team now. They had this team. That's that's you changed good. Changed your tune from last week. I noticed. Remember you yeah. sitting over there. Last hey, week? I saw I saw a lot different team yeah. out there. What did we say? About Montgomery him? got thirty plus him? carries, oh, baby. Yeah. Yeah, That'll yeah, make yeah. me change my tune. Oh, yeah. 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 Montgomery yeah. got thirty plus carries. I was always going to talk yeah, long enough it. to run right back around to what he said before. <laughs> <laughs> I know another guy like that. <laughs>